Guys, that's almost half the price of our MSC cruise, and this is a luxury cruise line. Well, well ahoy there, cruises. cruises. Good oh, morning. Oh, I felt like I was doing that in slow motion. I know, because I was going to say good morning, cruises, and then I sort of checked you and you well, didn't say that. Well, ahoy there, yeah. cruises. We're not drunk. Good morning. It's our first morning on Venus Viking. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, God. You can tell I've just woken up. I need coffee. Viking Venus. We had a beautifully, wonderful, gorgeous night's sleep on our super sized, king size bed, didn't we? Absolutely. I actually struggled to get out of it this morning because I was just so comfortable. Me too. We've woken up to the most beautiful sunrise. It is gorgeous. You can see mermaids, mermen, everything in the south coast of England. Oh, my gosh. Yes, you can. Gorgeous. Take our word for it, but we're going to head down for breakfast now. I'm going to try all of the things on the ship. We're so excited to show you what it's like being on a luxury cruise line at a good price. So, should we go? Absolutely. Let's go to breakfast. Let's go to breakfast. David always makes the bed, don't you? Is that weird? It's a bit weird, but he always makes the bed. Well, I don't make a, I don't do a very good job of it, but I always just, I don't know. Is it weird to make the bed, or do you think it helps them? Probably not. It probably hinders them. Also, we didn't need to go to the gym this morning because our room is so big, I did 40 laps. Look at this, doing 40 laps in my room. Exercise done, beautiful, it's so big, love it, right? Stop messing about, let's go for breakfast, I'm starving. You remembered your mask this time, David? Yep, and I've got my... Um, tracking device. My track and trace device, or my help me if I fall dongle. Let's go. I've just put some peppermint lip balm on my lips and because I put my mask on, it's now like, Delicious. It's like, it's almost like I've just shoved it up my nose. Oh, how pretty is this ship, David? It's so nice. It's and gorgeous. I, I love like the classical music the player. I almost feel like I'm in a movie. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Right, we need to hurry up because we're going to be late for breakfast. We've just done our daily temperature check, but it recognises your face. So it says like, hello, David. And then it logs your temperature for that day. How Genius. clever is that? You don't even need your cruise card or anything. Genius. So clever. Wow, we've got a really lovely seat by the window and it's such a bright sunny day. This is the perfect place to enjoy breakfast. I'm starving a you as well. Are you starving? Yeah, and there's so much on the menu. Well, I, do you know what? I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna have some fruit, but now I've seen the menu, I'm like, I'll have it all. Cause yeah, it looks really good. But first of all, I know exactly what we need. We need some tea and coffee. I need to wake up. Oh, the food looks so good. Honestly, guys, after being on MSC and struggling with food, we are in for such a treat. Not only that, but we've got the most beautiful weather and views. It's so bright and sunny. I'm going to go for an English breakfast to try it on here to compare to MSC. And David's going to get an omelette. We've got coffee, juice on the way. We're going to be stuffed like partridges. The partridges get stuffed. Well, stuffed like turkeys on Thanksgiving or Christmas. I suppose you can stuff everything really, can't you? Yeah, people have things stuffed on the walls, don't they? Like bears and eagles and other animals. I honestly I haven't had coffee, this is why I'm acting so weird. So once I get coffee in me, I promise more um, regular programming. Right, I need nine sugars in my coffee to get going. Honestly, best night's sleep I've had in, I'm not lying, in a year, because I'm not the best sleeper, but I slept solidly for eight hours last night. So I feel like I'm in a bit of a comatose state. And we've got a really exciting day coming up as well. We've got the uh, spa booked for the uh, lovely spa room with the, with the snow room. So you're gonna see all of that. We'll go up to the pool, there's trivia on, there's movies under the stars. We've got a beautiful meal booked tonight. It's all very exciting, guys. My little heart can't take it. So this is a really small ship. It holds 930 uh, passengers. And I feel really low, I feel really like I am almost can touch the sea. I guess compared to like the MSC Virtuoso we were on last week, this feels like tiny. But then thinking about Sea Dream, that was a dot compared to this, wasn't it? Right, so orange juices came now, so I'm gonna taste it. Sweet baby Jesus. That tastes like it's been like freshly squeezed by pixies in Florida this morning. It is, oh God. Oh, bloody hell, that's good. That's really good. Oh, I love it. Honestly, the food and quality of Viking. It's restored our faith in cruising again. That is beautiful. Absolutely delicious. Oh, well, thank you. That's gigantic. <laughs> and from Florida to en France, we've gone to France for a croissant. Look at the size of that. David, it's bigger than your head. It's like the size of my head. It's like, I'm, it's like my lips. Oh. oh my God, fabulous look. So I'm going to choose one of these fancy jams. Alice's jam. 
Or should I have Carol's jam? Have Carol's jam, she sounds like fun. Shall I have a taste of Carol's jam and see yes. what that's like? Taste Carol's jam, she seems like a fun lady. She does, doesn't she? You're probably crying at home for the way I eat my croissants because I just tear it apart. Oh well, yeah, if you're French, we apologise. And we're interrupted by fruit. Are you jealous? Who gets excited by fruit? Who wants to be interrupted by fruit? Me. When you've got a croissant. How's the croissant, David? Okay. Let's have a spread of Carol's jam over my croissant. So you've got Carol's jam all over the croissant. <laughs> it sounds rude. Sorry, guys. You know, we can't help ourselves. She's got a smooth texture. She's tangy, but not too sweet. Lovely jam, Carol. Cool, and I'm gonna, oh, Jesus, guys, you can't take me anywhere. I keep, so I'm gonna try my fruit, and it looks absolutely delicious. We've got pineapple, pineapple, notes of paradise, getting notes of the Caribbean. So when you just fancy something sort of fresh and delicious before you eat a massive breakfast. Raspberries, blackberries. You all right? How's it going? We just met the nicest couple there. It's so lovely when people come up and say hello, especially the crew. So many of the crew have said they've watched our videos before coming on and working for Viking, which is just so lovely just to give them an idea of what it's like on board. And they're coming up and saying, oh, we're a fan. It's just so lovely, isn't it? It makes you feel so good. We genuinely, genuinely love you guys coming up to say hello. So if you ever see us, do say hello. We're not funny. We like, we like talking to people. But back to the fruit, melon, blackberry. Oh, delicious, you can't get any better. Ah, damn it. I'm just trying to book our next cruise, but because we're on a cruise ship, the ship thinks we're in Norway and I can't connect to the UK site. That brings us on nicely to today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN offers the fastest, most stable VPN connection for all of your work, streaming and gaming needs. It means that we can connect to our home country of the UK no matter where we are in the world. We can do things like book cruises as well as connecting to streaming services such as Netflix Netflix and Amazon Prime so we can watch our content and our films and our TV programs wherever we are in the world. And NordVPN uses next generation encryption, meaning it keeps you super safe as well. And because we're working with NordVPN, if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash cruise with and use the code cruise with, you can get a two year plan with a huge discount as well as a free gift. How good is that? Now, back to the cruise, or well, should I say booking cruises. Now that I'm finally connected, I can do it. So now I've gone from France to the Caribbean. I've, gone, I've got a Creole omelet, which is like um, an omelet with avocados and plantain. Oh, lovely. Sounds nice, I'll get a bit of the dip. That is delicious. It tastes really fresh. It's like got um, coriander and lots of tasty tropical-y things. And with this beautiful weather, I feel like I'm in the Caribbean and not off the coast of miserable England. And I went for the full English breakfast, as you know, just to compare it to MSE. So let's dig in and start with the potatoes. Really well seasoned, tastes like potatoes. And I have a bit of a sausage, which are nice and chunky, actually. So good. As you know, you don't, I don't usually like mushrooms, but these look delicious. So I'm going to dip them into the baked beans to be super classy. Loads of people on our MSE videos were like horrified that we have beans with breakfast. That's a proper British thing, isn't it? It really is. You have beans with every meal. Bit of a pie in my mouth, that's delicious. I got my eggs over easy and they look delicious. We've got good yolk action. I'm not yolking. The chicken that laid that egg should be proud. It's bloody delicious. So we finished breakfast and that was wonderful. Oh, everything about this is so different to MSE. One thing we just noticed is that, and I didn't really pick it up, is that every single meal we've had so far, we've been asked by at least two people, how was the food and how was the service? That's something I completely forgot about. It happens on basically every cruise line, but we noticed it didn't happen once on MSC. So we didn't even really have ever the opportunity to feed back if it was good or not. So that's such a lovely thing to see. It's not just to us. They don't know who we are. We've paid for this cruise, as we've already said. They're going around to every single table and we can see that. Right, should we go and explore the ship, David? Let's go. Just feeling very full. how much I love a good promenade deck. This is just beautiful. Only thing, forgot my sunglasses, which is so annoying, because I'm squinting like this, so I can barely even see anything. But oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. The sea looks so blue today. We could be in the Caribbean, couldn't we? It doesn't feel like the UK. Oh, perfect way to end your breakfast. Do a few laps and you feel less guilty about all the food you're gonna eat. So 
we've just came for a quick coffee because we need perking up and then we're going to go to an afternoon quiz. So we need to, something to get our brains in gear, but we're totally going to get like one of every cookie as well. How good do these look? I am getting a caramel pecan cookie. Absolutely delicious. Right, we're getting oatmeal raisin and a muffin and a muffin and another muffin. One of everything. Just, can I have the whole selection? Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. This is your caramel pecan. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, we've got our nice iced coffees and cookies. And even like the cookies are warm and the plate's warm as well. So I just went to the lav, to the loo, to, to the, the toilet. toilet. And um, I was in the toilet and you know, I was stood there and I thought, I think there's a bird in here. And it sounds like there's a bird in the toilet and I'm looking around and it turns out they like pump through the sound of a bird tweeting in the toilet. Oh. So you can have like a bird tweeting while you tinkle. It's very, very relaxing. It's the most relaxing toilet experience I've ever had. I love that. <laughs> Please excuse me whilst I fall in love. Excuse me? This cookie. Pecan. Caramel. I'm in love. It's delicious. To question number three. I don't think we're going to get any right Alfred on this one. Novos. Guys, not kidding you, I think we're going to get zero out of 15. This is so hard. URL. My gosh, that was the hardest quiz I think I've ever done on a cruise. We, we did got all five. Out five of out of five. So I'm like, I'm, I'm ripping up the paper. Out of 15, not five. Sorry, five out of 15. Hide, hide the evidence. I'm ripping up the paper so nobody can ever see how bad we did on it. Right, should we go to the spa? Let's go. I need to relax after that stress. Let's go. And this is the spa on board. You can use it whenever you like. It's completely free. It has a snow grotto, a steam room, sauna, plunge pool, hot tub, and an amazing spa, massive pool. It's awesome and it's amazing. One of our favorite places to be. Just letting off a bit of steam. Ah, we could honestly stay here all day. We're falling asleep. Let's head to the snow grotto. Yes, with real snow to wake us up a little bit. Freezing in here. Come on a cruise, they said. Enjoy your ferro, ferro, pepe, pepe, with everything spa, they said. It'll be relaxing, they said. Could do this at home. <sighs> I'm being boiled like a lobster. I'll be cooked in about five minutes. That'll be a lovely lobster colour. Ooh, the burn. That water is freezing cold. Afterwards, we head up to the solarium to grab some sun and more pool time. So we came to the top pool deck to chill out. I feel like jelly after the end. After the thermal sphere. Oh, my legs feel like wobbly and I feel like I just need to lay down for a bit because that was amazing. So we're going to relax in the sun. Oh. Right, I'll be here if you need me. So we're all changed after our lovely spa session there. It was so amazing. I feel so relaxed. I haven't felt this relaxed in ages. And that's one thing that's great about Viking. Viking isn't all about the big shows and the big entertainment, water slides and climbing walls. It's about relaxation, learning new things, enrichment, amazing food, amazing things like the spa. So let's take a look at how this cruise compared with our MSC Virtuosa cruise price-wise. Now, usually this would be an unfair comparison because MSC is a budget cruise line and Viking a luxury cruise line. In fact, Viking as a standard is much more superior than even the Yacht Club on MSC. So be prepared for some surprises. For MSC, we paid a total of £1,398 for both of us total. This was a four night cruise in the lowest category Bella Balcony Cabin. Drinks and gratuities were included, but things like Wi-Fi, excursions and speciality dining were not. Here, let's take a look at our invoice to prove we're not lying. 
For Viking Cruisers, we paid a total of £2,070 for both of us, so not each, that's the complete price. It was a seven night cruise in a deluxe suite. We haven't included the fact we got £100 off each as well as returning passengers, we're just keeping that off to keep it fair. Viking also included drinks at mealtimes a shore excursion in every port, unlimited access to the amazing spa, Wi-Fi, and all dining and gratuities. Again, here's the invoice. So what extras did we add on for both cruise lines? Well, on MSC, we bought the Wi-Fi, which turned out to be terrible. We ate at two of the speciality restaurants and an excursion each was 55 pounds each. On Viking, all we did was upgrade to the full drinks package, which cost £140 per person, so a total of £280. So yes, the total price of Viking was slightly more, but wait, MSC was a four-night cruise compared to our seven nights on Viking. So when you divide it, the price per day was much cheaper on Viking, over £100 or around $150 per day less on Viking. MSC have considerably raised their prices during the pandemic. It's very disappointing, especially for a budget product. Yes, our Viking cruise was a bargain, but deals can be found. We found deals for the next few weeks in Malta, whereas MSC are actually charging £1,349 per person each for a balcony cabin for one week. So it's still more expensive than Viking. What's going on? And this is a luxury cruise line. That was MSC and we had the worst food ever. The entertainment was dire and we're on a luxury cruise for cheaper. I can't imagine how much more expensive it would have been in Yacht Club, but this is by far better than Yacht Club on MSC. Well, just in the interests of clarity, we did take a look at what the MSC Yacht Club Deluxe Suite would be, which is just a balcony cabin. It's a total of £5,398 for a one week cruise next month. That's over double the price we paid for our Viking cruise. Nuts, absolutely crazy. How amazing is that? It's just fantastic. We are shocked ourselves. So it just goes to show you, you can cruise on a budget. How did we book it? We booked it direct from the Viking website. Easy as that. Now, I am starving. It's been a few minutes since we've ate. So we're gonna head off for some afternoon tea in the winter garden. I'm so excited. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. Let's go. So we are here in the beautiful Winter Garden. So this is like a conservatory space. You can see all of the sky and we've got such nice weather today and there's some beautiful intricate woodwork which casts the most beautiful shadows. It's actually all weather, so it's air conditioned in here at the moment and it feels like you're outside and you have a beautiful afternoon tea every single day at 3 p.m. Oh my gosh, and is it good? Usually you would bow to the queen, but I think the queen would bow to this afternoon tea because it's so tasty. You get a selection of sandwiches and little cakes and scones, and you can have as much as you want. And there's a really big tea menu as well. Darjeeling tea, green tea, chai tea, all of that jazz, every tea in the world, I think. But it's delicious, all included every single day as well, which is so lovely, isn't it? Definitely, we always love our tea at three. Tea at three. And it's absolutely scrumptious. Beautiful teas, three different types of sandwiches, three different types of cakes, as well as scones. Delicious. Thank you, thank you. That was for the band. Next up, we have a cucumber sandwich. Now, I don't normally condone cucumbers because they do better in a gin or something like that, but we'll have a try anyway. Very posh, very bring. British, British, very British. Notes of freshness, crunch. Oh, 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 Mr. Cucumber. Oh, you are spoiling me. Do you feel like watching Wimbledon now? Mmm. That is delicious. You should be proud of yourself. I was wrong about you, Cucumber. You did good. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. I'm completely stuffed now. 
I need to go lie down in the sun somewhere. It's such a spectacular day. We've got so much more coming up. We're gonna go chill out for a bit now, maybe go have a coffee in the lounge downstairs, have a little walk in the sun, and then we're gonna have more food. That's what it's all about. Eating, drinking, relaxing, love it. Let's go and grab a seat and grab a coffee and watch the world go by, I think. Oh, it's lovely. What beautiful weather we're having. Oh my God, there's too many seats to choose from. It's like, which type of seat would you like? Would you like a sofa? Would you like this strange looking contraption? Well, I like that. That's lovely. Take your pick. <sighs> Perfect. I think we've found our spot. So this is the Explorer's Lounge and it's right at the front of the ship. The really nice thing about this lounge is it's got windows all around and lots and lots of comfortable seats. So it's great during the day to come have a coffee, have a cocktail and just relax. And then on an evening as well, you can come for cocktails and they do uh, have live music on an evening. And just on the other side is the deli as well. So if you do want to grab a bite, you can also come here. Hey, you know what? I feel a little bit emotional. Totes emotion. It's just absolutely beautiful out there today. And this is something we've missed so much. And we didn't have as good weather on MSC, unfortunately, but it's just stunning. We've just got our coffees, right? And how cute, seriously, how cute is this? They're designed after the waffles in Mamsons, which is just the little um, deli bar in there. It's so cute. They are the cutest little designed mugs and cups. Look at that. How cute is that, guys? It's literally adorable. Did you bring a bag, David? <laughs> because they're going in our bag. Not on camera, Ben. No, they're not really. They won't let us back on the ship ever they, again. They won't let us back on the ship, but they are absolutely beautiful. It's just all of the little finishing touches on Viking which make the difference. It's it's really hard to explain unless you're here, but it's just, oh, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect so far. Loving life right now. Right, coffee, feet up, watch that beautiful, beautiful water just chill for a few minutes. Couldn't resist coming onto the balcony whilst we're getting my sunglasses to go up on deck. Wow, honestly guys, we never get this weather. This weather is spectacular. We could be in Greece right now, or even the Caribbean. It's not as warm, but it just looks beautiful. There isn't a cloud in the sky. How very unusual. And I don't think it's gonna last. The weather forecast for the rest of the cruise looks a little bit more miserable, but hey, I'll take it right now. Well, this is an unexpected treat, isn't it? Look how gorgeous this weather is. Can you believe it? It doesn't feel like I'm off the coast of Wales. It feels like I'm in the Mediterranean or the Caribbean or something. Gorgeous. Beautiful seas. They're like, it's like silk, the water. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it. So we thought we'd make the most of it and come up to the top decks and enjoy some of the outdoor spaces while we can. There's loads of outdoor spaces here on Viking. It's really lovely. They've got spaces inside if it's a little bit too hot or cold. And then out on the front, they've got a lovely area. So we're gonna go and grab a cocktail and just enjoy the last of the sun. Uh, David, what is this game? Well, I thought this was a litter, a litter picker at first. A litter picker. I thought it was litter picking. <laughs> it's called litter picking. You volunteer for a few hours every day to pick up the litter. Yeah. I think it's a shuffleboard. I've never actually played it, have you? No, never. Oh, oh. We've drew. No, it's in the eight. Eight, eight, seven. So we've drew. Good oh, job. Good job. Good, good game. job. Good game. Good game. Good, 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 game. good game, fine, good sir. Game, good, sir. Good game. Night, nice, David. Good game. Good Cheers. Game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we got a bit competitive and it was time for a game of table tennis. <laughs> yes, Come on. I won, there we go, I won. Champion. I'm the champion. There's a loser. Right, David needs to go get a drink now. That was a practice round. So we've got ourselves a lovely seat at the very back of the ship. It's a really nice spot as well. If you wanted to go to the buffet, you can bring your food out here because it's all connected. A lot of people eat out, out here when it's nice and warm. So I've just treated Ben because I did lose. So I thought I'd splash out and buy him a drink. So um, with my own money, I bought him <laughs> a frozen banana daiquiri and I got myself a pina colada because there's nothing more that feels like you're on a cruise than a frozen cocktail. I agree. Oh, thank oh, you so much. Pina colada for... Ooh. It tastes like summer, holidays, happiness, joy, mm. and a hangover, but it's delicious. 
that's the best banana I've ever tasted. It's sweet, sour, and it's just full of flavor. And it's really, really full of rum. I'm gonna be drunk, beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's, I've never seen a banana daiquiri anywhere, but Viking, that is absolutely legitimately delicious. They're all fresh as well, aren't they? They're not pre-mixed. I'm really sorry, David. Why? Because our marriage is over. I'm gonna to propose to the person who made this because it's the nicest bloody cocktail I've ever made. Bye guys. Now we didn't want to show you our evening meal because our next episode is jam-packed with so much food you don't want to miss it. The next morning we arrived into the beautiful city of Liverpool. You right there Chucks, we're in Liverpool so we're just going to go for our tour around the town. Uh, guys, that's a terrible accent. What are you talking about? That's a dead good Liverpool accent. What did you actually say? Guys, so we're going to go on our included excursion around Liverpool. It's a two hour tour of the city. Let's go. Let's go. So, you ready? Off we go. Tour of Liverpool. What we love about Viking is that a shore excursion is included in every single port for no extra charge. Our tour of Liverpool took us all around to see the sights and it lasted about three and a half hours. We can't wait to come back. So that's it, we're leaving Liverpool. Goodbye Liverpool, we had a great day. It was nice to have the bus tour to get an overview of the city. Unfortunately, we couldn't get off the bus, but not to worry because we're back in Liverpool next month for a couple of days. So we've seen the places we want to visit and it's great because we could come back and visit them in person. But for now, it's au revoir to Liverpool. Bye. Bye bye. And hello to scenic sailing in Scotland for the next couple of days. How exciting. After sail away and dinner, we headed to the Star Theatre to watch the amazing Beatles show. Thank you so much for watching. We'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. It helps us create more content for you. And a big thank you to all of our patrons. We give you postcards, behind the scenes footage, extra episodes, as well as a live Zoom call every single month. That's it till next time. Happy cruising. <laughs>